In this lecture, we are going to do the configuration and other setup required to get started with Webpack. Let's go to VS Code. And first of all, we are going to make some changes in tsconfig.json file. There, the first thing which you need to take care is this target. So this target should be ES2015 or ES6 or it can also be ES5. So depending on which browser you want to support, if you want to support older browsers, you can keep the target as ES5. But if you want to support newer browsers, then you can keep the target as ES2015 or ES6. So both are same. Then we also have modules here. So this module should be ES2015. Okay. And then we also need to comment this root dir. That's because now Webpack will take over here and Webpack will determine where your root files are. So we don't need to tell TypeScript about the root dir using this tsconfig.json file. So these are the three changes we need to do in tsconfig.json file. Let's save it. Next, we are going to create a new configuration file for Webpack. For that, in the project folder, Let's create a new file and the name of the file should be webpack.config.js. So make sure that this name you use, which is webpack.config.js. And that's because by default, Webpack is going to look for this configuration file for doing its work. And that's why the name should be same. Let's press enter. And now this file has been created. In this file, we are going to add some configuration. So basically in this file, we are going to define some settings to direct Webpack on how to compile and bundle our TypeScript project. And in this file, we need to write some JavaScript code, which will be executed by Node. So just like how we write code in Node, in the same way, we need to write some code here, which will execute it by Node. Now you might ask how Node is going to execute this file. So for example, here we are going to write something like module.exports. Okay, and to this we are going to assign an object. Now, this is a Node.js code. Now, you might say how this code will be executed because we are not using Node.js. Well, if you remember, in the very beginning of this course, when we started working with TypeScript, before that, we installed Node.js. So, Node.js is already installed in your machine. And whenever this file will run, it will be executed by Node.js runtime. Okay, so Node.js is already installed in your machine and that's why this file will be executed by Node.js runtime. In here, we are going to first specify the entry. So the entry should be the file which should be executed first. And that file in our project is app.ts file because app.ts file is our main file in which we are importing other files. So here we are going to specify the path of that file and that file is present in the source directory. So from the current directory, we will go to source directory and there we have app.ts file. Next, we also need to specify the output directory, basically the directory where the output files will be generated. When we compile TypeScript code, it generates some JavaScript files. So where those JavaScript files should be created. For that, we are going to use this output property. To this, we are going to assign an object. And in that object, we are going to have two properties. The name of the file with which we want to generate the content. So for example, here, let's specify the file name and the file name should be app.js or let's call it bundle.js because here we want Webpack to bundle all our TypeScript code into a single JavaScript file. And what do we want to call that single JavaScript file where we will have all the compiled TypeScript code? We want to call it bundle.js. You can also call it index.js, app.js, or any name of your choice. It's not mandatory that you call it bundle.js. Then the second property here will be the path. Basically, the path where this bundle.js file should be created. And to this path, we need to assign an absolute path. Here, we cannot specify a relative path. We need to specify the absolute path of the directory where we want this bundle.js file to be generated. For that, we are going to make use of one Node.js module. So here I'm going to create a variable. I'll call it path. And we are going to import path module of Node.js. So Node.js provides a module called path. We want to import that module here. For that, we are going to use this require function. There, we are going to specify the module name, which is path. 
and this is going to return us a class that class will be assigned to this path and in that class on that path we will have a method called resolve to this resolve method first we are going to pass the path of our project directory and for that also node.js provides a variable which is underscore underscore dir name so this underscore underscore dir name variable it stores the path of the project directory in our case the project directory is this typescript bundling with webpack so this is the directory name so this dir name variable it is going to store the absolute path of that project directory to that we want to append one more folder which is dist so in the project directory a dist folder will be created if it is not already there and in that folder we want to generate this bundle.js file okay let's save this file now the next thing which we need to do is in order to make webpack work properly now we need to remove .js extension from all the imports which we are doing in our project for example if i go to app.ts file there we are importing this user action.js file now from here we will remove this .js because by default webpack looks for a .js file but here what we want is we want webpack to look for .ts file and that configuration we will do later but for now let's just remove this .js extension from these imports let's save this file and let's also open user action.ts file there also we are importing user.js file so from there also let's remove this .js extension let's save this file so these are the two files where we are importing some other file okay and let me remove this pi because anyway we are not using it let's save the changes let me close this file so in the web config.js file using this configuration we are telling webpack what is the source directory where it should look for the .ts files and also the destination directory where it should generate the bundled file but we are still not telling webpack what it has to do with the typescript file because by default webpack does not know what it has to do with .ts file by default webpack is just a bundler any extra functionality which we want to perform using webpack and here in this project we want to use webpack for also compiling our typescript code okay we are not going to use tsc command to compile our typescript code we want webpack to compile our typescript code and generate a bundle so we need to tell webpack about that in the next lecture let's learn how we can do that this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day